So I want to show you a clip from ABC's The View with Whoopi Goldberg. I'm assuming that this clip is a couple of months old because all of the hosts are now um, hosting the show from home because of self-quarantine. Uh, but this clip is perfect because it truly encapsulates just how big of a political hack Whoopi Goldberg really is because she ended up embarrassingly putting her foot in her mouth <laughs> when it came to a conversation that they were having about Dr. Jill Biden, Joe Biden's wife. And um, <laughs> she basically revealed that her level of political analysis is very simple. Democrats, by default, are good no matter what because they're on my team. Take a look. And Dr. Jill becomes a Surgeon General. His wife. Yeah. Joe, Biden. Joe Biden's wife. Because she, you know, she he would it. never do it. But she, it, she, yeah, she's a hell of a doctor. She's an amazing doctor. I she's I just a doctor like and PhD. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, I, don't, oh, I, don't I could know. be wrong. Maybe I thought she was yeah, a teacher. I think she, I know. She's, she's oh. a teacher, but, you know, my. Whoopee. <laughs> Like, what a hack. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Dr. Joe Biden, she is a fantastic doctor. One of the best in the world. She actually did my hip replacement surgery, and I was walking after a week. Whoopi, you just revealed to everyone that you're a propagandist. Like, you are willing to lie, even if you don't know anything about someone, so long as you know that they have a D in front of their name, you are willing to do propaganda for them. Like, that is incredibly embarrassing. You have no standards. The only standard is, is there a D in front of their name? And if so, I'm with them 100%. Why? Like, why do you talk about politics so frequently if you actually don't care, if you don't have a deep political analysis? Like, this is really shameless. You're literally just making something up because you like Jill Biden and Joe Biden. Like, come on. Now, there is a logical explanation as to why Whoopi Goldberg is such a terrible, entitled person who is also seemingly a compulsive liar. It's because she is literally a Karen. As Salam Snow points out, her real name is Karen Johnson. <laughs> And Whoopi Goldberg, uh, unbeknownst to me, is just a moniker that she uses for her television and uh, movie career. Yeah. So, you know, all of the stupid things that she said makes a lot more sense now. She's a Karen. She's mad at Bernie bros because we don't have a manager that she can speak to. Bernie is, I guess, her ma our manager in her view. But, you know, anything that she says to him doesn't really resonate. So, um, she just takes it out on the left because she is committed to her team. Um, but what's weird about this story is that it kind of took a turn for the weird because everyone on Twitter, you know, after this was trending, Dr. Jill Stein was trending, was dunking on Whoopi Goldberg for being an idiot and a political hack. But nobody is denying that Dr. Jill Biden shouldn't represent that doctor title because she has a PhD in education. So yeah, if you have your PhD... You're a doctor, you're not a medical doctor, but you're still a doctor. You get to have doctor in your name. But apparently, the Bernie bros have been accused of attacking Dr. Jill Biden. Now, again, I just want to remind you all that the reason why this was trending in the first place was because we were all making fun of Karen Whoopi Goldberg's stupidity and political hackery. But somehow, the Bernie bros were the ones who got attacked. For example, Alyssa Milano, another Democratic Party hack, tweeted out, Bernie bros attacking Dr. Jill Biden for having a PhD in education is exactly what I'd expect. Y'all need to realize you're part of the problem. Bernie Sanders needs to separate himself from your support. You do more harm to him, his policies, and the country than good. So I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, can you point to a single tweet where a Bernie Sanders supporter is attacking Dr. Jill Biden because she has doctor in her name and she's not a medical doctor? Like, where is this coming from? You see, Alyssa Milano is a propagandist for the Democratic Party. She is another team player just like Whoopi Goldberg, and her team is always right, which is why she is accusing the left of being uh, toxic and doing more harm 
than good. Let me remind you that Bernie Sanders supporters are disproportionately poor people who are just asking for health care and education and to stop the wars. But she says that they're doing more harm than good. Why? Well, because she's personally butthurt because we're calling her out for her hypocrisy. But to the question of where are these attacks on Dr. Joe Biden coming from, I don't know. Now, when you click on that hashtag and you read some of the top tweets, none of them showcase any Bernie Sanders supporter attacking Jill Biden. Cal Penn tweeted, y'all throwing shade because you thought Dr. Biden was a medical doctor. Are really going to lose your shit when you Google Dr. Dre? That's actually pretty clever. Miss Krasenstein tweeted, if you are attacking Dr. Jill Biden for calling herself doctor when she's not a medical doctor, then you are just plain ignorant. Did you ever hear of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? He wasn't a medical doctor either. Either, but he was highly educated like Dr. Biden and unlike you. Veronica McDonald tweeted, Jill Biden has a doctorate. She has every right to be called Dr. Biden. She's not just a medical doctor and quite frankly, from the performance of the current Surgeon General, Dr. Jill Biden might as well be qualified to be Surgeon General. Heck, all of us are. So listen, folks, I think it's very obvious what's happening here. The Bernie bros are being framed in order to deflect, divert attention away from Whoopi Goldberg, excuse me, Karen's stupidity. They're trying to throw Bernie Sanders supporters under a bus. Like, who believes that Jill Biden shouldn't be referred to as doctor? If she has her doctorate, she's a doctor. Like, you can make the distinction that she's not a medical doctor, but who is taking issue with this specifically? Like, I was a PhD student before going on a permanent sabbatical to host the Humanist Report, but I mean, like, I absolutely would have repped that doctor title in my name because I'm the first person in my family to go to college. So I just, I don't understand where this is coming from. And I'm not seeing, at least from people in my circle, any examples, not a single one of them attacking Jill Biden for not being a doctor. This all originated from Karen being stupid and just, you know, uh, talking about how much of a wonderful doctor Jill Biden is without knowing that she's not actually a fucking medical doctor. That's the story not Bernie bros. So I think the fact that Bernie bros were clowning on Whoopi Goldberg is what they're angry about, but it doesn't matter. Bernie bros will always be blamed no matter what. If Joe Biden loses to Trump, guess who's going to be blamed? Bernie bros. If uh, Joe Biden slips and falls, guess who's going to be blamed? Bernie bros. If Joe Biden shits his pants, guess who's going to be blamed? Bernie bros. So it doesn't matter what we do, we will always be the scapegoat when it comes to uh, Democratic Party politics. So um, if they want to blame us, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we all know, we have the receipts, we have the video footage that it's actually Karen who's the one who is the dumbass in this predicament. So, I mean, you can try to deflect, uh, but Karen is the one who thought that Dr. Joe Biden was a medical doctor. So um, if you're going to get mad at anyone, like... You know what? Fuck it. You can get mad at us. It doesn't matter. You're going to be mad anyway, so fuck it. <laughs> this is exhausting.